Say hi. Hey. Hey everyone. <laughs> this little guy is supposed to be in bed. <laughs> he thinks it's super funny that he's not. <laughs> Alright, say goodnight. Goodnight. Say bye. Oh, don't do it creepy. <laughs> do it nice. I know how nice you are. <laughs> do it so nice. No. Okay, good night. Bye. Okay, go get in bed and I'll come see you when I'm done, okay? Okay. Hello, guys. <laughs> so, tonight, hey, <laughs> I am just really, oh, Grandma says that she loves you. Tell Grandma you love her. I like ya. No, say it nice. I like you. <laughs> Go to bed. I love you. Okay, Libby wants to say love you too, Grandma. I love you too, Grandma. <laughs> oh my goodness, my lips. Okay. Look like Alright, good night, good night, good night. Does that make a light or does that make a light? Good night. Sorry. Alright, you guys. So obviously my kids are still awake. Uh, mother of the year. It's nine o'clock. Good night. I promise I did have them settled in bed at one point. I didn't just leave them to themselves. Um, we're gonna do witch makeup tonight. So just like we do every time we do our makeup, make sure you use a good face primer on your whole face. Um, tonight I started with a blank face. Usually I have um, leftover makeup from the day, but funny story, I didn't wear any makeup today, so joke's on you. I was had a naked face the whole day. Um, also, we're going to need, since we're doing a witch look, it's all about the eyes, so we need to really prime our eyes. If you need a really good eye primer, this is your go-to. This stuff really helps with creasing. It really helps with um, making your colors just really pop. Um, hi, Elise. I miss you, my love. Um, and it really just makes your colors stand out and just I have a tutorial video. I guess not a tutorial, a demo video of how good this is. Let me know if you want to see it. I'll send it to you. Anyway, so all you need is just a little bit. Can I help you, sir? What do you need? Okay. All you need is a tiny bit, not even like the size of a pea, and you just rub it on your eyes, and then you just let it sit. And once it sets, it's ready. It's like your eyes are primed, just like you would prime before painting, and it's ready to go. So it's perfect, ready to go, and it really makes a huge difference. Um, I like to cut corners. I like to save money. Um, that's not something that I save money on. I've tried other ones that just, they're just not as good. It is really good. So you need a good primer. So then I'm just going to kind of let my face just set a minute since I just primed it. Um, but like I said, we're going to do witch. Um, that's going to be fun. Um, and don't be jealous of my hair tonight. Too late for some of you, I know. But, um, I mean, I know it's not very flattering, but it's been a weird day. Like, it's just been a weird day. And I woke up and my foot was just like hurting like crazy. Like I have bruising on top of my foot. Weird. Random. And then like halfway through the day, like my back started going out. So, And then I had a monster headache I couldn't get rid of. I'm really prone to headaches. So, you know, it was just a weird day. So I didn't really like do a whole lot to myself today. That's okay. We all need those days once in a while. We don't have to be like photo ready all the time. That would be awful. Ugh. That'd be awful. Okay, so we're going to start. And to do the base of my face, um, I think I'm going to just take some like really light, pearly um, eyeshadow and just kind of use that in place of foundation. Um, so I just want to find the right color. I think I'm going to use my Addiction Palette number three 
today. Um, just because it's got a lot of like stuff that goes with purple. Oh, Kate, you're so sweet. Um, you're so sweet. It, I make it sound worse than it was. It was a really nice day. I got to take a nap, but it was just weird, you know. It's like one of those days. Just had a bunch of weird ailments, but thank you for caring. Um, I hope you had a good birthday yesterday, Kate. Did you do anything fun? Um, this is palette number three. I love it. It's got like from pinks to shimmeries all the way to purples. And then this dark charcoal color. That's called irate. Um, but I love this palette. So I'm going to just take, see this middle color here? It's called smitten. It's kind of like a pearly gray, silvery. I'm just going to like put that on my foundation brush. And I'm just going to like spread it around my whole face to kind of give it like a pale shimmery look. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, family dinners are the best. With Jake's mom's been in town and we've been having, you know, obviously we've been eating dinner with her and it's just really nice. We've been going out a lot. We've been making stuff here at home and it's just nice to be together with your family. Um, we started um, we started this tradition where we go around the table and we all say what our favorite parts of the day was. And it's just kind of fun to hear the kids talk about their favorite parts. And um, Yeah, family dinners are good. I'd like to say that ours happen every night, but that would be a lie. Okay, so as you can see, I just kind of made my face just kind of pale with a little bit of shimmer to it. So like, as of now, that's not super attractive. Um, so if I stop now, um, it kind of looks like I'm just really sick, but I'm not done, so. Okay, and then I just ordered myself some um, new cream shadow, and I have been like dying, dying for it to come because I'm just so excited. Let me show you. It's called Majestic. Oh my goodness. I love this color. Well, I don't know if I love it yet because I haven't like used it yet, but I'm going to use it tonight for the first time. Um, so I'm just going to take this, and when you use cream shadows, uh, you just, you can use your finger if you want. I like to use my cream shadow brush. Like I said, brattle brushes make a huge difference. So I'm just going to just cover my lid with this gorgeous majestic shadow color. And this stuff just goes on so easy. It's just like boop and it's just creamy and smooth and oh, just so fabulous. Oh my goodness, I love this color. It's like sparkly. Are we seeing this, ladies? It's like super sparkly and gorgeous. I am in love. Okay, that is exactly what I wanted it to look like. So yay for me. And I think sparkly purple is just a good witch color, don't you think? So I'm not the only one with injuries in this household today. Um, man, our prayer list has been extra long lately because everyone keeps getting hurt. Um, today was the boys' last day of football season. Um, but neither of them got to go play in their game because they both had in injuries. Like, uh, Carson jammed his finger really bad at practice, and it was like, he woke up and it was all like black and purple this morning. Not as shimmery as my purple eyes, but you can imagine. Um, I know I'm done, but I just can't stop putting it on because I just think it's so pretty. I don't want to stop. Because I can't stop. And I won't stop. Anyway, okay, I better put that away. Um, anyway, and then Benson, two days ago, um, he came home from school with a gash in the back of his head. And I had to run him to Instacare. Uh, and he had to get two staples in the back of his head. He fell on the bus. 
and rode the bus the whole way home. And of course the bus driver didn't know, nobody told the bus driver that my kid hit his head on the bus. So anyway, he had a gash in his head and he has two staples. So we just thought, eh, probably not the best idea to have your kid playing football with staples in their head. Just seemed like better not. Hi Sarah. So I just finished doing my beautiful majestic purple and now I'm going to do my crease with my other splurge. Oh Sarah you're too sweet. I feel like I've crawled out from underneath a rock um, looking for my cats and my carpet bag. I know, I just got Majestic today, Sarah. I was just telling these girls. I just barely got Majestic and tried it for the first time right now. And I think it's going to be my new favorite. I'm pretty sure it's going to be my new go-to. So I'm just going to take my crease brush and put the... You're sweet, Sarah. Thank you. And put Rapturous. Rapturous is a matte cream shadow. Um, it's still gorgeous. It's a little bit darker. Um... But I had to have both of the purples because I love purples. So I'm just going to put that in my crease. And these things go on so smooth and they're crease resistant. Ha, I'm putting re crease resistant on my crease. Ha, I'm so clever. And then I'm just going to make kind of a big V right here like this and just work it in. like this. That's kind of witchy, right? I'd say yes. Alright, if you haven't told me yet, tell me what you're going to be for Halloween. I'm so curious. And I'm wondering, like, how many moms even dress up? Like, maybe I just don't notice, but I don't see a lot of moms dressing up unless it's like a, like a function where they ask you to dress up. And that's okay. If that's not your jam, whatevs. I'm just curious. Alright, and again, I'm just making that kind of sharp V. You're going to be a mom, Sarah. That's a good thing to be. I bet your kids will appreciate that. I bet you could do some super cute makeup, though, and be like a spooky mom. Tyler, I think you're right. I think... I don't think... I could be anything but a hot mom witch um, with this majestic purple. Ooh, girl. Kate is a kindergarten teacher, the best kindergarten teacher on the planet. And she just said she's going to be Gerald from Pigging Gerald at school. And then later she's going to be a devil. That is so perfect for you, honestly. That is perfect. Okay, so now I just have this left, and I'm just going to do kind of like a darker color. You don't dress up, Tyler? I am sorely disappointed. Like, I, I think we might have our first friendship fight. Me and Kate almost had our first friendship fight today. It was really close, but we made it through. So I'm going to take, I'm just trying to decide what color I want to do. I think I'm going to take from palette number four. This is the one I used last night. And I'm going to use this honest color right here to go up to my brow. And I'm just going to use my angled shadow brush for that. And I'm just going to do from my crease to my brow. The bam. Okay. Are we seeing that? Are we liking what we see? I think you are. Give me a thumbs up if you think this is fun. Here's one from me. Okay. So, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. So, I'm just going to take my Perfect Precision um, pencil liner. And remember, this is the one I've been telling you guys about for three days now. It's amazing. It goes on smooth. It doesn't have a sharp point. It's rounded and it stays on all day. 
And Kate, yours is going in the mill tomorrow. Booyah. So I'm just going to blacken my eyebrows. Crazy? Yes. Witchy? Yes. Oh, Tyler. That's because you're a good mom and you probably sew all your kids' costumes, huh? I could see that. So they take all your Halloween spirit. <sighs> kids eat all our steaks and ruin our lives. <laughs> just kidding. Hey. I'm kidding. All right. I think they heard you. Okay. So I'm just darkening in my eyebrows with my black. I'm staring at it, but I can't figure out what to call it. My black uh, liner pencil. How embarrassing. And like you could get crazy and you could make your eyebrow like really sharp and pointed, but um, I'm feeling like. Just, you know, kind of um, a casual witch, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. All right. So I've got some pretty severe eyebrows here. You liking that? Okay, good. So now, we are going to move on to the, let's do the eyeliner. So we're going to get our wet eyeliner, um, liquid eyeliner, I guess you could call it. And what we're going to do is if we're going to make a thick line on our eyes. So we're going to line our eyes fairly thick and then we're going to do a wing. You can't be a witch and not have a wing tip. You just can't. That's, that's, I read that somewhere. Probably in a dream I had. I don't know. Just believe me, okay? So I'm just going to take my liquid liner and I'm just going to line my lid. And I'm going to come straight out along where I just put the purple. Like that. Except for, I didn't want that giant smudge mark right there. And that part was not part of the plan. That's what Q-tips were invented for. Okay. So. I just can't find a good place to put my mirror, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to just keep working on that wing. And I'm going to bring it out, bring it out and up. And then I'm just going to start from the edge and make a straight line and head back towards my lid. And then I'm going to fill it in, and that's where that nice, big, thick wing comes from. Like that. So it's nice and sharp. Sharp like freshly sharpened pencil. That was dumb. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm kind of tired tonight. I taught a workout class today, and I haven't done that for a long, long time, probably since we moved. So I haven't taught since I was in Washington. And I did a hit class. And so obviously when you're the teacher, you have to go harder than everybody else, right? So I think that's why my back is going out, because I'm paying for showing off. Was it worth it? I don't know. Maybe if I burned like a million calories. No, it was fun though. I love teaching workout classes. That's super fun for me. All right, so again, we're just gonna bring that back. And make that a nice sharp angle. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth that little fucker out. Okay, so my light here. So there we go. Looking 
pretty decent. Okay, so now if you're going to be a witch, you have to have... Do you like how I'm just making up all these rules about witches? I act like I just, like, am an expert on witches. Um, my husband would say I act like one sometimes, because I do. But we're going to do fiber lashes tonight, because I just think I need some full, thick, bombshell, witchy eyelashes. So I'm going to grab my fibers. All right, that's my loud makeup organizer. All right, so the fiber lashes come in two bottles, right? You have your transplanting gel and your actual fibers, hence the name Fiber Lashes. So I'm going to start with my transplanting gel. And you're just going to put it on like normal mascara. Okay. Now, if you're panicking, going, I can't even see it. What kind of mascara is that? Don't panic. It's just transplanting gel. And then you're going to take your fibers and stick the fibers on while the gel is still wet. Got it? You see how these fibers just go on like these? They're like little tiny feather boas. So they make your lashes feel sexy. So, Kate, if you do a really good coat of the transplanting gel and you let the fibers just stick to them, then they shouldn't be falling on your face because they should be adhering to that transplanting gel. So just make sure that your first coat, and your top coat, and your bottom coat of transplanting gel, make sure it's a really good coat. Okay, so while this is setting and attaching, I'm going to wait and let it set in. That might be part of the problem of why your fibers, Kate, have been falling on your face. Um, while I'm waiting for this one to dry, I'm going to do this one. You are welcome, Kate. Do you have any other words of wisdom that you need from me? I'm full of them. Okay, so we're putting the transplanting gel on this one. Then we're going back to the fibers. And just kind of letting like, them um, attach themselves. And then while these ones are getting all sticky and stuck to, I am going to go back to my transplanting gel and seal in the first eye that I did. So clever, I know. And boom. See, I got a little bit on my face. <laughs> Ooh, Kate wants a contouring tutorial. I would love to do one for you. Alright, so I'm just sealing in my fiber lashes. Alright, give me a heart if you've ever tried fiber lashes. I just want to see how many of you out there have actually tried it. Okay. Lashes are sealed in. Can you see those? I think I won't need magic to cast a spell on my husband with these babies. Know what I'm saying? Okay, so eyes are kind of done. And now we're going to do some, just a little bit of blush. But I'm not going to use blush. Because do witches get embarrassed? No. Oh, Kate, just, I'll just know that you're sending a heart from your actual heart. Just, 
Here it is. There it is. Oh, you gave me a heart. Thank you. I love heart. Um, so I'm going to... Witches don't get embarrassed. No. And so they don't use blush. And their faces don't naturally blush. But they're kind of cold-hearted and evil. So what I'm going to do is just do the under of my cheekbone. There's this line under here. I'm just going to do it with like some dark... Um, I think I'm going to be a little bit daring and just use this black color right here. And I'm going to just take the face brush that I've been using. Remind me y'all to clean this tomorrow morning because when I go to do my blush it's going to be black and I'm going to be like, oh, what happened? And I won't remember because I have what's called short term memory loss. Just kidding. I don't. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little of my blush. Well, my pretend blush. I'm using Irate from palette number three. Okay. I don't know what this is or how it got on my face, but it needs to come off. It's ruining my witchy vibe. Okay. So I've got that. And then I'm just going to go back with that silver that I used all over my face. And I'm just going to go over it and under it. Just to kind of make that look a little more hollow. So remember I used this smitten color right here. I'm just going to go in and go over it. And under it. And I'm just going to do a little more here. Okay. So, that's that. Okay. Now you could totally stop here if you wanted, except for you have to do your lips. You have to have to do your lips. So, if you have like a really deep purple, I would do that. I don't have a really deep purple. So, what I'm going to do is use my eyeliner like I did for my scarecrow and just do my lips with my black eyeliner or if you have black lipstick do that but I just don't carry black lipstick on a regular basis because I just don't call me crazy so remember I make an X so I can get that nice deep bow I just line it Jake wouldn't kiss me last night with my scarecrow makeup on. I wonder if he'll kiss me with my witchy makeup on. I even tricked him and pretended I was sad and pretended to cry. He knows me too well. He knew I was teasing. Little stinker. I'm just going to fill it in. I love that our lining pencils are so versatile. You can like use them on your eyes, you can use them on your mouth, you can like interchange them. It's pretty cool. Okay. I got a little crazy down here. I made my lips all big and pouty. I didn't mean to that. that. Okay. Okay, so there it is. Now, you could stop here, throw in a hat, be done, but we're going to do a little extra credit round here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a spider web. Okay. So here we go. So we're going to take our liquid eyeliner because it's the easiest to move around and stuff. So I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner. I'm going to come up and out from where I did my 
um, my wing. I'm going to just continue that line and just draw a line. And then I'm going to come down and do another one. And come up and do another one. How many do I want to do? We'll do one more. Okay? So it kind of looks like someone just threw a baseball in me and I shattered like a porcelain doll. Okay? Then, super, super simple. I'm just going to make curved lines to connect them. So just a little curve, curve, See how I'm just doing that? I'm just making little curves. Okay. There it is. Um, and you can also, um, you can just do it on one eye if you want. You can do it on both eyes. I think I'm going to do it on both eyes. Because, I mean, why not? I've already gone this far. So curve, curve, curve. Like that. And then you're just going to do the lines again. Just a little boop. Super easy. There we go. This one's a little bit bigger than that one, but... I can't control spiders and how they make webs on my face, right? <sighs> Hello. And if you want to be ambitious, you can even make a little mm, web going down and make a little spider on it. So that's it. I think that's it. Let's see. I've been kind of looking at this lady's face. And yeah, I think I'm going to call that good. So all you need to do is throw on a hat and you can be a witch for Halloween. So I hope you guys are getting some good ideas from these and um, I'm hopefully I'm encouraging you to dress up if you're not going to, weren't planning on it before. But anyway, so happy makeuping. And thank you guys so much for being with me. It makes it so much more fun when I have people to chat with while I do this. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.